ಹಾಂ ಸೌದಿ ಅರೇಬಿಯಾ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಸ್ವೀಕೃತಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಸೊ ರೆಡ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಮ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಮೇರಿಕ ದೆನ್ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ವಿ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದೋಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಸಿ ಈಜಿಪ್ಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ನಿಯರ್ ಟು ಈಜಿಪ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ಪಸ್ ಮೈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸುಯಸ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಸೊ ಸುಯಸ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ವಿಚ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಸುಯಸ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕಾ ಓಡ್ಲಿ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ನೇಮ್ಡ್ ಈಜಿಪ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಈಜಿಪ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಈಜಿಪ್ಟ್ ದ ಸು ಎಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಈಜಿಪ್ಟ್ ರೆಡ್ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ದಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ಸ್ ಏಷ್ಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕಾ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸು ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಈಜಿಪ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ರಿಕನ್ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ವೆನ್ ದ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮೆಡಿಟ್ರೇನಿಯನ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಡ್ ಸಿ ದ ಶಾರ್ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ವಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಹೂ ಮೆಷರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ರೆಡ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟ್ರೇನಿಯನ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಶಿಪ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೂವ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟ್ರೇನ್ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸು ಎಸ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ವರ್ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಟ್ರೇಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರಿಂಗ್ is about usa then i told you one statement sun never sets in british empire see england was england conquered most of the parts of the world so if in one area is sun is setting in other area sun will be rising sun will be available that is why a famous statement was there sun never sets in british empire in one corner or, or other corner of british empire there will be sunrise but not in the modern period this was this has happened before 1947 before india get in, gets independence usa usa was identified or found out according to the european culture it was usa was there they has not gone anywhere but it was discovered by american explorer named columbus can anybody tell me when did columbus land in yes, american sir. continent uh, it found usa ha ah. ah. in in which year did columbus land in american continent 1498 sir 14 it is in a it is in 1492 it is in 1492 okay 1492 ah. 1492 christopher columbus landed in american continent that time onwards this christopher columbus was from spain spain was having control of american continent then from spain it was purchased really by uh, uk so till 1781 1776 till 1776 usa was controlled by uk 1776 1776 okay it is here 1776 that is that is known as american war of independence in 1776 americans declared themselves independent from the control of britain but one thing you must un- understand the americans means they are not original americans do you know who are the original americans original americans are the red indians okay are you hearing me yes sir ah, the yes, sir. Origin, yes, sir. original americans are red indians the americans who asked for independence who asked to have their own administration in america are the people who have gone from europe and settled down they are not original people of america they have gone from europe 
and settled down in America from Europe. Europe was having huge population, poverty, fightings. So there are many in Europe could not survive in 15th and for, uh, 16th century. 15th, 16th and 17th century. So they ran away from They ran, they ran away f, um, where is it? Uh, let me unlock, unlock some other, some other locker there. So, they were America, Americans who have gone from Europe and settled down in America. They only asked for independence, not the original inhabitants of America. Original inhabitants of America are called Red Indians by Columbus. Because when Columbus landed there, he could see them uh, different from the Indians he had seen because India and Europe had a trade relationship. So he had seen Indians. But the Indians he saw in American content was different. So what did he, he do? He called them as a Red Indians. That's only what he did. So the original inhabitants are Red Indians and yes. Yes, yes, I am not able to, but I am admitting them. Okay. Huh. Now, now, see, he called them a Red Indians and they remain. So the original inhabitants of America were not asking for independence. The Europeans who had gone to there and settled down, and they developed a big, big agricultural land areas. And they settled down in different areas. It is called 13 colonies. Those 13 colony people, you must again remember, they were from Europe. They gathered under the leadership of George Washington. And they decided to form a union of these 13 colonies. That union is known as USA, United States of America. And they agreed to... Washington is also a city, yes sir. Washington is also a city. Washington is the capital of USA. That has come from his name, George Washington. Okay. So those 13 colonies gathered together. They told Britain... We want independence from Britain. And Britain did not agree, so there was a war. That war went for six years. Sir, Five years, not six years. 1776, 81. Pardon? That was American War of Independence. American War of Independence. 1776 to 1781. So, 1781, Britain accepted independence of uh, America. But Americans, those Americans means those who have gone from Europe and settled down. They are originally Europeans. So, those Americans, they began to celebrate their Independence Day on 1776 July 4th onwards. So American Independence Day is on July 4th. 1776 July 4th onwards they began to celebrate. They did not wait for defeat of uh, Britain in 1781. So in 1776 American Independence Year on July 4th. Okay, then the black people in America, we call them Negroes. 
this negroes are also not originally from america the black people are are from are from ah huh. south africa yeah, not only south africa africa african continent this black people were caught by the white europeans and brought them to africa at a gun point they were not ready to come if they were not ready to come they will be simply shot dead so the american uh, uh, africans they had no way so they came to america they were caught from uh, uh, in uh, africa they went to uh, that area caught the people at gun point tied them in a, in a rope and brought them like a, a wild animals or like bullocks and uh, they were sold and, and purchased also the human beings were sold and purchased that is what we call a slave trade slaves so they were called slaves they were treated like animals sir ah sir now also this policy is there sir no no now it is not there now it is not there so the slave trade so the africans were caught by the europeans and they were sold in the markets like bulls buffaloes like that they were tied up in that places and anybody who is having money could purchase the human beings the human beings were treated like animals day time they will be permitted to work and there will be supervisor like uh, you know in the field when you send a bullock for grazing or uh, uh, doing work in the field there will be a person who is with the bullock you know like that there will be a supervisor for human beings and if anybody runs away or anybody tries to escape or anybody is lazy they used to simply beat them up and they used to kill them nobody could ask them such a situation was there that was known as slave trade so the black people in america are from africa the white people in america are from europe and the original inhabitants are from europe america itself they are called red indians when the europeans came to america the red indians tried to fight with the europeans but europeans were having guns and other facilities so the original inhabitants could not fight so they left the place and they to went to pacific ocean side they went to pacific ocean side that is situation they went there and they settled down in pacific and atlantic ocean side was dominated by the europeans okay that's a america and britain then we were coming to another question i was we were discussing about benias no isn't it we were discussing about benias yes. trading communities in yes in uh, india we started with the trading communities so we went to suez canal then suez canal we went to america and all this one more question was there somebody asked me one another question now the person who asked them the question about usa is it clear for you yes sir ah now yes sir i asked ah, i know somebody was asked about another question i don't remember what is that question sir i was sir i was asked about washington dc ah washington dc dc means district of columbia Washington is the capital's name because George Washington is the first president of America and he is the father of the nation of America. Like in India we have a good Mahatma Gandhi. The father of the nation of America is George Washington. So they have decided to put the name of him in the capital. That is Washington. Washington in district of Columbia. Sir. Yeah. Come on. Sir. Washington was also an European, sir. Hi, Washington was European. There is nowadays there are other Washingtons are there. They are have, have taken the name of George Washington. That's why black people are also there. Or the George Washington was Euro European only. Even Abraham Lincoln was European only. Abraham Lincoln, who abolished slavery in 1865, he was also European only. The first American president. 
the first american president who is said to be black and he also is not fully black who is said to be black is barack obama all other american presidents are the inhabitants who have gone from europe and settled down they are white people only okay barack obama Ah. Sir, but how did America grow, sir? It is very, it is wealthiest country in the world. How did it grow, sir? Ah, huh? after this, people have gone and settled down. Plenty of agricultural areas where they developed into uh, that is scientifically and progressed themselves. For centuries, America yes, was not. America, America did not interfere in any. activities that is taking place in european continent america lived an isolated life and the people worked hard the slaves worked hard they were forced to work there was no corruption as such so people worked hard and uh, progressed and brought the things into realities that is the situation Ah. Yes. The doubt. Ah. Portion. Two big portions meet. They do not mix with each other, sir. Why? Two big portions meet. We can see the clear. Two big portions. Ah. They do not mix each other. Ah. They are. Sir, why they do not mix? that you must please ask geography teacher exactly i am not able to answer it but see uh, the the level of the oceans it will be little different the water that is why it is called the different names are given to it pacific ocean the movement of the water is comparatively small less there peaceful but undercurrent is so much in pacific ocean so that is there in the notion all all are given the names according to uh, geographical areas further details you can ask your uh, your uh, geography teacher geography teacher will give more details about that okay ha ah, any other question ha huh? come on okay so washington you got your answer about washington Yes sir. Mm. Mm. Yes, no. Sir. Yes sir. No, next question. And is waiting in the lobby admit them. Pardon? No, nobody is there in the lobby. No, nobody is there in the lobby. Okay. Ah, so that is the way the these are different countries we were in two different parts of the world today about time okay and our time has gone because of that we could not cover up today anything next day we will cover up that towns and traders we want to go to different countries of the world english dutch french all those things we will tomorrow we will try okay bye cadets ah okay bye sir okay bye bye sir